சிந்தனை அவன் கண் விட dear students good morning today this is a botany question paper discussion of the topic cell biomolecules and cell cycle for the question paper released by nta abhyas neat test 1 to 40 chapter by assignments So dear students this is Dr Ratishri senior botany professor of Spiro Prime Education Institute Chennai and Namakkal Dear students please subscribe Spiro Academy channel and if you want the pdf of this question paper please click the link in the description given below so let us proceed to the question paper discussion the question number 1 enzyme that catalyzes the transfer of molecules except ho and electron of called as Dear students, this question is from biomolecule chapter. So you know, I'll write in formula. Yes, G. So here, the transfer of group has been occurred between these two substrate, S and S one. You can see. the group g is transferred from s to s1 so this is an example for transferase reaction so the correct option here is option d transferase Question number two: An extra chromosomal self-replicating part of the cell that has proven to be boon to the biotechnology is. What is an extra chromosomal self-replicating unit? In case of bacteria, you have the bacterial own DNA, and also a semi-autonomously replicating unit that is present in the DNA that is present in the bacterial cell. it is called as plasmid a plasmid is going to be a double stranded helical structure like this so it can able to replicate independently it is not dependent on the dna of the bacterial cell this plasmid dna is going to have some useful gene like antibiotic production so the extra chromosomal genetic element present in a bacterial cell is going to be the option d plasmid question number 3 which one of the following cell organelle are enclosed by the single membrane so here you know the basic difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell is the prokaryotic cell lack the membrane bound organelle whereas eukaryotic cell have the membrane bound organelle so in that some of the organelle are going to be membrane bound and some of the organelle is going to be bound by a double membrane a single membrane and some are going to lack the membrane also membrane less so here the question is which organel is a single membrane bound the chloroplast mitochondria it is going to be a double membrane bound organel and nuclei it is a double membrane bound organel so the correct option is lysosome 
which is bound by the single membrane. So the correct option is option C, lysosomes. Proceeding to question number four. When synapsis is complete all along the chromosome, the cell is said to have entered the stage called. Dear student, the question says the process called as a synapsis is over. So the synapsis is a process where the homologous chromosomes are going to be paired together. We call this as a bivalent. So this synapsis occurred during the process of zygotin. So if the zygotin is going to be completed, the next stage is going to be the pachytene. So the correct option is going to be the pachytene where the crossing over is going to occur. So next question. Question number five. Select the correct answer regarding the phase of meiosis and their respective events using the list given below. So here the prophase one, the crossing over occurs. Yes, it is correct. The prophase is divided into of my of mitosis. The, sorry, the prophase of meiosis one is called as prophase one. It is divided into different substages: leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene and diakinesis. So here in this stage brackety, the crossing over between the homologous chromosome occurs. So this is correct. So the second statement, metaphase two, the sister chromatids migrate to the opposite pole. So here in metaphase two, the sister chromatids won't migrate. Because in anaphase 2, only splitting of centromere occurs. Here in metaphase 2, they are going to align in the equatorial plane. So this is the incorrect option. Third, anaphase 1, the homologous chromosome line up at the equator in, I think so something is incomplete over here. So the homologous chromosome, so I cannot answer this question because question is incomplete here. So let us proceed to the, so according to this here, statement one is correct, but the statement two is wrong, okay? So I think so, the correct answer should be option three, but I, I don't know about this particular statement. It is not clearly given up. So proceeding to the next question, dear students. Kankana Valin AS. So this is the question for biomolecules. And you know, and you know this, alkaloids, morphine, Codon or alkaloid and toxins, abrin and resin or toxins and drugs being blast in curcumin. And this A is comes under the lectin group. This is a direct in CRT. So the correct answer is option D. Proceeding to the next question number seven. Which among the following can be seen in the ultra structure of both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell? Here the question is both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell should have this particular organ. So here the chloroplast is present in the eukaryote. Leucoplast, it is a type of chloroplast, it is type of plastids, eukaryotes. So the nuclear proteins, here nuclear proteins we cannot say all the nuclear proteins. So the common structure between the prokaryote and eukaryote is the ribosomes. In eukaryote, it is 80s ribosome. In prokaryote, it is 70s ribosome. So the correct option is option A. The next question, question number eight, which of the following options is incorrect? 
lipoprotein so here lipoprotein chromoprotein nucleoprotein and glycoprotein are conjugated proteins okay they are conjugated protein conjugated protein has the protein part and non protein part in case of lipoprotein the non protein part is lipid it is correct in case of chromoprotein the non protein part is not the lipid it is the incorrect the non protein part is the heme right hemoglobin heme the colored part so it is the incorrect option here the nucleoprotein where the non protein part is the nucleic acid it is the correct and glycoprotein protein the non protein part is the carbohydrate dear student here the question is about the incorrect option so the correct answer is option b chromoprotein proceeding to the question number 9 the two chromatids of a metaphase of the chromat chromosome represents the replicated chromosome to be separated at anaphase so here homologous chromosome of diploid set so here you should understand one thing see in metaphase the chromosome is going to be present like this which means in a normal condition when the chromosome is going to enter into the cell cycle at g1 phase it is going to be like this because it is going to have the one set of dna but after the s phase it is going to be like this because it has duplicated dna present in the another chromatid so in metaphase also this is going to proceed only in the anaphase where the centromere is going to split it is going to separate it like this into two sister into two chromosome so dear students here this is not correct because we do know whether it is uh, just has given the metaphase so it is represent the mitosis the non homologous chromosome it is wrong maternal and paternal so it means only the mitosis the role, replicated chromosome to be separated at anaphase this is the correct option here question number 10 the cell during growth the dna synthesis takes place in dear yes, students you know very well the cell cycle is divided into two phases one is said to be interphase and the other one is said to be the mitotic phase so the interphase so here the interphase is divided into three phases sub phases g1 yes g2 where this is said to be the m phase and here the cytokinesis is going to occur okay this is the cytokinesis phase so here in g1 phase the maximum organelle duplication occurs here and in the s phase the dna is going to get replicated so the dna content is going to be 2c in G, g1 phase means it is going to be 4c in case of s phase so the dna is going to be replicated in this s phase only so this is nothing but the dna synthesis so the correct option here is option a s phase proceeding to the next question dear students question number 11 the cellulose is a polymer of the cellulose is a polymer of alpha glucose alpha fructose beta glucose and beta fructose dear students you know cellulose is going to be a homopolymer it is a polysaccharide where the glucose units are arranged linearly and they are joined to the by beta 14 glycosidic linkage here the glucose is nothing but the beta glucose so the correct option is option c beta glucose proceeding to the next question send the wrong statement bacterial cell wall is made up of glycoglycan yes it is the correct statement pili and fimbria are mostly involved in the motility of bacterial cell dear student this is a wrong question uh, uh, statement because pili and fimbria for the small bristle like structure help in attachment of the particular bacterial cell it is not going to take part in helping motility 
so this is the incorrect option the cyanobacteria lack flagella so this is also a correct option and mycoplasma is a wallless microorganism so the correct option here is option b proceeding to the next question question number 13 Find out the number of chromosome and the amount of DNA in the spore mother cell of bryophytes in G2 stage. The spore contains five chromosomes and five pg DNA. Dear student, here they have given the value for this n. Okay, spore is n, and they are asking the two n value at G2 phase. So n is going to be five and five pg DNA. So two n is going to be the double number, right? So it is going to be the 10 chromosome with 10 pg DNA. That is the spore mother cell value. So here they are asking about the G2 stage. So the G2 stage where the DNA is going to be replicated, but the chromosome number remains same. So the answer should be the 10 chromosome with 20 pg DNA. So the correct option is option B. That is 10 chromosome and 20 pg DNA. So question number 14. the mycoplasma are different from other prokaryotes by so the mycoplasma has a special groups because they are going to lack the cell wall and like other prokaryotes so prokaryotes usually have the cell wall that is made up of peptidoglycan these mycoplasma they are going to lack the cell wall so presence of chitin it is the incorrect option the presence of murine because they are going to lack the murine presence of proteins nothing so because they totally lack the cell wall the correct option is absence of cell wall itself so question number 15 if a, if a subcellular fraction from the liver tissue exhibit a high level of acid like bases proteases carbohydrates activity the organelle associated with it be see here these are hydrolytic enzyme the lipases are going to cleave the lipid and proteases is going to cleave the protein and carbohydrates is, is going to cleave the carbohydrate so these hydrolytic enzymes are going to present in the suicidal bag of the cell which is nothing but the lysosomes so the correct option is option b because it is going to involved in various auto uh, lysis of this uh, foreign cells and also our own uh, torn and worn cells so proceeding to the next question question number 16 The people with the Klinefelter syndrome have 47 chromosomes, including three sex chromosomes. What is the term to describe the aberration that occurs during the meiosis that results in the abnormal chromosome number? Dear yes, students, you should know about a particular uh, thing called as a disjunction. So disjunction usually occurs at the anaphase stage. In the anaphase stage usually the spindle fibers is going to contract, so the the gonads are going to push you towards the corner, right? so that is the normal uh, process occurring so here um, what happens so this normal process this uh, segregation of this uh, chromatic chromosome is called as the disjunction so what happens in this non disjunction accidentally this spindle fibers is going to pull out either one extra you know, it is said to be the extra chromosome that is it is going to be extra pull one and one more chromosome so that the instead of normal 46 you are going to have the normal uh, no, you are going to have the abnormal 47 chromosome as in case of klein filter syndrome so this phenomenon is called as non disjunction whereas disjunction is the normal phenomenon so correct option is option b so question number 17 the ribosomes ribosomes so ribosomes ribosomes are nothing but the RNA molecules. They are going to exhibiting the catalytic activity. So, in a single uh, sentence, ribosomes are the RNA acting as an enzymes. Okay. Mm, so, here the correct option here is enzymes. No, which shows no enzymes working on a DNA. No. So, the nucleic acid with the enzymatic activity it is said to be the ribosomes. So, the correct option is option C. So, question number eighteen. Which of the following features? can be observed in a eukaryotic chromosome what can be seen in a eukaryotic chromosome so telomeres these are the ends of the chromosome telomeres are the ends of the chromosome that can be seen in the eukaryotic chromosome and this is the centromere yes we do have the centromere and this is the euchromatin part yes we have so the euchromatin is going to be the um, transcriptionally active uh, uh, chromatin that is going to be present towards the center so heterochromatin is going to be the um, transcriptionally inactive chromatin that is going to be present in the periphery so 
Eukaryotin is also present in the eukaryotic chromosome and origin of replication. So without the RNA side, the DNA is not going to replicate, right? So the correct option is option D, 18th, that is PQRS. So proceeding to the 19th question, which of the following chromatin is then lightly stained? Yeah, what I have explained you in the last question. So this uh, nucleoplasm of the uh, uh, eukaryotic chromosome, chromosome you, 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 uh, nucleus, it is going to have the two different chromatin. One is going to be the euchromatin and another one is going to be the heterochromatin. So euchromatin is going to be transcriptionally inactive, uh, sorry, active, which is going to um, uh, transcribe, whereas the heterochromatin is going to be present um, with a transcriptionally inactive form. So the correct option here, uh, this euchromatin, it is going to be lightly stained, okay? Um, so this transcriptionally active, so they are meaning about the euchromatin tract. So the correct option is going going to be this not a heterochromatin because it is going to be darkly stained okay mm, so transcriptionally inactive region so this deals about this heterochromatin it is not a centromere so the correct option here student it is going to be transcriptionally active region so correct option is option d and proceeding to the question number 20 the cytochromes are found in so mm, this is about the lesson respiration where you are going to have the matrix here and this is the inner mitochondrial membrane and this is the outer membrane of mitochondria in this region, you are going to have the electron transport rate chain where the different complexes, five different complexes are going to arrange here. So in this one, you are going to have the cytochrome, right? So the equation is cytochromes are found in the inner membrane of mitochondria or the cystia of mitochondria. The correct option is option C. Question number 21. Some cells in the adult animals do not appear to exhibit the division and many other cells divide only occasionally. And so these cells are said to be in. So, dear students, they are meaning about, you know, the suspended cell st stage of a cell cycle. So, here, the differentiated cells, okay, the cells that are differentiated, it's going to enter into G0 phase, okay. Mm. So, in the G0 phase, these cells are going to continuously active. They are metabolically active, but they are not going to divide. So, that is the thing. They are metabolically active. They grow, okay. Mm, so these type of differentiated cells, they are going to enter into a suspended stage of cell cycle, which is nothing but the G0 phase. So heart cells and um, nerve cells, okay, muscle cells, these are going to be differentiated cells that are present actively in the G0 phase without proliferation. So question number 22, mm, in the meiosis type of cell division, the centromere divides during which stage? Mm, here, uh, I uh, clearly explain to you the meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 stage where meiosis 1 you have prophase 1 then metaphase 1 anaphase 1 mm, and telophase 1 right and in metaphase 2 you are going to have prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 here in between this you are going to have the uh, interkinesis phase here in the anaphase 1 you know centromere is going to divide during the anaphase in the mitosis in the same way in meiosis 1, in anaphase 1, it is not going to uh, divide. The centromere does not divide in this phase. Okay, here, up, then what happens? The homologous chromosome is going to get separated during this phase. So the mm, centromere is going to split only in the anaphase 2. This is a very, very important uh, particular uh, concept. Okay, the anaphase 2, only the chromosome that is the sister chromatids is going to separate. The centromere is going to um, uh, what it is going to divide only at the anaphase 2. So the correct option here is, dear students, uh, um, centromere div uh, divide only during the anaphase 2. So, uh, so the correct option is going to be option D. And the next question, which of the following has the maximum number of total cellular mass? So um, this is also from uh, biomolecules lesson. And you know, I think the uh, almost water is going to present almost for the 90% in a cell. Okay, water, mm, 70 to 90% uh, water is going to be present. Uh, so next it is going to be the protein. So protein is going to be present in um, uh, at a 10 to 50% of concentration, okay? So remaining the 
carbohydrate is going to be present in only 3% and the nucleic acid is going to be present in 5 to 7%. Okay, the lipid is going to be present almost in 2%. So next to the water, the maximum amount it is going to be present in um, is protein, 10 to 50%. Since the water is not given here, it should be what? It should be the correct option should be the protein option A. So read the following statement. The membrane bound inclusion bodies are not found in the prokaryotic cell. Yes, I, to, I discussed uh, uh, about this because the prokaryotic cell is going to lack the membrane bound mm, organelle. So uh, this uh, uh, inclusion bodies, they are saying it is membrane bound. So this is not found. Yes, it is the correct option here. Mm, and next to one, the ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Yes, this is also a correct statement. The pili or uh, the surface structures that help in the role of motility. So this is not a correct option here. The cell membrane of prokaryotic is structurally similar to that of the eukaryotes as this is also a correct option so, so choose the option with the correct statement here one two and four one yeah so option c is correct here students so next match the following organelles in column one and to their function with column two okay so here golgi bodies okay mm, so the golgi bodies is going to help in uh, it is going to be present in the acrosperm of uh, uh, sperm. So, so, this is correct. And then the RER is going to be helps in synthesis, synthesis of proteins, right? So, it is going to be secretory proteins. Okay, secretory proteins. And then microtubules helps in the spindle fiber pro, um, process. So, and next is pyrosome. They are helping lipid synthesis, right? So, they help in synthesis and storage of histone. So the uh, dear students, the correct option is going to be option B. So next question number 26, the most immediate source of energy for living cell is generally in the form of, so you know, uh, even uh, when the person, a uh, sports person, athletes, or uh, whenever you, uh, you are very tired, if you want the instant energy, you go, to, you go for glucose, it is nothing but carbohydrates, okay? Mm, so the instant source of energy is nothing but the carbohydrates. So question number 27, who said all cells are raised from the pre-existing cells? Dear students, you know about the cell theory that was given by Schreiden and Schwann, which states that um, the cell is the structural and functional unit of a living organism. Even though cell theory was given by both of them, okay, it is not a complete cell theory because it was Rudolf Virtue who completed the cell theory by saying how the cell has originated. The cell arised from the pre-existing living cell and this statement was given by Rudolf Virtue. Okay, the correct option is option B, 27. It is option B is correct. So proceeding to the 28th question. So the diploid living organism develops from the zygote by which type of repeated cell division? So you know, um, uh, mitosis is going to take a very important uh, part in growth of an organism. So the growth of the somatic cells, you know, it is only because of mitosis. The meiosis is going to play a very important role only during the reproductive stage. So the growth of a particular organism or a somatic body is because of the repeated division of the cell that occurs by the mitosis process. So correct option here is option C. So the next question, 29, the bacterial cell divides every minute if it takes one half to fill the cup, how much time it will take to fill the half cup? So this is a very interesting question. You know, the bacteria is going to double every division. If it is going to one, then after the first division, it is going to be two. It is going to be two, next it is going to be, next division is going to be four. And next it is going to be eight, which means it is going to be double every division. So what they are asking in one minute, if it is going to be, it is filled, okay, if it is filled, the bacteria by dividing it is filled in one minute, that is the 60 um, uh, minutes, okay. Mm, so what is going to, uh, ha uh, when it is going to be filled in half of a, so it is like this. So I said now it is going to, uh, what, double every minute, because it divides every minute. So when it is going to be half immediately, before that one minute okay because if it is going to be filling the cup by 60th minute so 60 minus one it is going to be there before division right which is the 59th minute the 
the cup is going to be half filled half right so the correct answer here is the 59th note okay so next all of the following statements are correct except okay so the interface is the shortest period of cell cycle so this first statement is even wrong so here you should understand that i said the cell cycle is divided into two important thing the one is uh, what uh, g1 s and g2 okay then it is uh, the um, mitotic division this is cytokinesis and this is the mitosis mm, so here almost the 95% of the time it is uh, taken uh, by the interface period. interface period only 5% is taken by the mitosis okay so the uh, most of the time uh, in cell division is occupied by the interface so it is the incorrect statement uh, uh, so the correct option here is this Mm, cell growth in terms of cell increase is yes. Uh, cell growth is continuous throughout in the cell cycle. Cell cycles of growth and division allow the single cell to form a structure consisting of millions of cells. Yes. The replicated DNA or distributed with daughter nuclei by the complex of series signals during cell division. Yes. So they are asking about the incorrect statement. So incorrect statement is option A. So question number thirty-one. Sometimes a few chromosomes have non-staining secondary constrictions. at a constant location that gives the appearance of small fragment call so dear students here they are meaning about the satellite mm, so satellites uh, so actually this is the centromere part right this is the centromere and this is the chromatid so here you should understand one thing that the in, uh, in some chromosome there is a this is the centromere is also called as primary constriction okay this is also called as a primary structure constriction in certain chromosomes in certain chromosomes okay not on every chromosome in certain chromosomes okay hmm the, there is a secondary constriction exists so this is called as a secondary constriction and the portion of the chromosome above this secondary constriction okay it is called as the satellites so they are they present at their constant location so these are called as a satellite it is like a small fragment about the second constriction okay mm, so the correct answer here is satellite so the next question question number 32 the packaging of chromatin at a higher level requires additional set of proteins that are collectively formed called as you see our uh, eukaryotic dna is 2.42 meter length right it is going to be packed in a very small uh, cell how it is possible this is possible because of dna packaging proteins at the lower level okay you need a uh, histone proteins the histone proteins mm, it is a octomer right octomer it is going to help in coiling up of uh, this dna like a thread okay it is going to help in the coiling up of dna but when you go for the higher level of uh, folding of this dna you go for non histone proteins okay we called as scaffold proteins or non histone proteins so these proteins are involved in these proteins are nothing but the scaffold proteins okay mm, so these are non histone proteins they are going to help in higher level packaging of these chromatin so proceeding to the next question question number 33 hollow enzyme is and Dear students, hollow enzyme is a whole enzyme. Okay, it is a full enzyme. It is going to have both the protein part and also the non-protein part. Okay, mm, so this protein part is called as apo enzyme. Apo enzyme is nothing but the protein part of the enzyme. Whereas the non-protein part is going to be the cofactor, right? Okay. Uh, so here, uh, what is an hollow enzyme? Hollow enzyme consists of non-protein and also the apo enzyme. So this seems to be correct. the protein and the apo enzyme no uh, this is wrong because protein and apo enzyme are same the enzyme protein and cousin no so dear student the correct option is going to be option a non protein and apo enzyme question number 34 which of the organism is pplo pplo is a pleuro pneumonia like organisms you know it is nothing but it is uh, it has been first isolated from the plural fluid of the cattle okay uh, so these are nothing but the mycoplasma like organisms so, this, so these are the smallest known living cells of the size 0.3 micrometer yes they belong uh, so these uh, mycoplasma like organisms called as a pplo 
So next question, question number 35, the meiosis one is also called as a heterotypic division, production division. Select the correct option by comparing the phase. Oh, oh this is the question we missed last, correct? It is, uh, yes. So uh, we have seen the prophase one is the crossing over occur. Yes, it is the correct one because in packeting stage of the prophase one crossing over is going to happen. And the metaphase one, the sister chromatids migrate to the opposite poles. This is an incorrect statement because, uh, you know, in anaphase, uh, um, only the chromosomes are going to uh, move towards a pole. So this is correct, incorrect. Anaphase one, the homologous chromosome line up at the equator in pairs. Mm, so in the anaphase one, the chromo homologous chromosome, homologous chromosomes line up at the equator in pairs. You should uh, know one thing. Mm, here, uh, in case of anaphase one, okay, how it is going to be lining up at the equator? It is going to be pulled towards the poles, right? Only in the metaphase, it is going to be lined up to the equator. So this is also an incorrect one. Mm, so here, uh, let's proceed to the the particular option, right? What does it say? One is correct and two, three are false. Yes. Option C is correct. Okay. Yes. So we have seen this uh, particular question previously, but it is uh, um, the third option was not there. But here we could find that particular answer. So one is correct and two, three are false. Yes. Question number 36. Which type of cell division occurs in gonads? So here, Dear students, you should, as soon as you hear the word gonads, you go for mm, formation of germ cells, okay, right? You will say it is meiosis. Uh, but here you should understand one thing, uh, the reproductive stage, only the uh, sperms and eggs are going to be formed. And before that, these gonads are, uh, should be formed, right? And the sexual organ should be formed, right? So uh, for this, the mitosis process is essential. Uh, so uh, here, this option, both a mitosis and meiosis is uh, needed for this um, division uh, in gonads. So the correct option is option D. I'm going to the next question, to, uh, question number 37. The pathogens present in the bacterial cell are, so we have already discussed enough about this plasmid. I said it is going to be like this. It is a double-stranded circular um, helical for molecule present uh, in the uh, DNA is a chromosome. This is going to be the host of chromosomal DNA and this is the plasmid. Okay, I think so. You are go you are very clear about this. It is going to involve in the production of most of the secondary metabolites. Mm, so here, we'll see, go to the option. Circular double-stranded helical DNA molecule. Yes, it seems to be correct. Circular double-stranded RNA, you know, linear. So it is wrong. Linear. You know. So the correct option is option one, circular double-stranded helical DNA molecule. Question number 38, for stages of cell cycle, select the correct option. Yeah, chromosome is arranged at the equator, meta, equator metaphasic plate. Yeah, correct. In metaphase only, the chromosome is going to be arranged in the equator. So next B, the centromere splits and chromatids are separated at Anaphase 1. So I have explained you detailed it is wrong because this happens in uh, anaphase 2, right? So that is the incorrect one. The pairing between the homologous chromosome takes place in the zygotin. Yes, it is the correct one. We call this as synapsis. So the correct one is going to be the option A and C, dear students. It is the option B correct. So next one, question number 39. The nucleolus usually associated with the chromatin. At a specific site is called as. So the nucleolus, okay, I told you about the primary constriction and secondary constriction, it deals with the place where the secondary constriction is present. So the region where the nucleolus is associated with the chromatin, it is going to be the nucleolar organizer region, it is NOR, okay. So the correct option is option one. Question number 40, the microtubules or cylindrical structures having alpha, beta, tubulin proteins. These constitute which one of the following groups? So, so they are asking where this microtubule is going to be present. Mm, so uh, in this question, um, so the thing is, uh, it is a microtubule. You know about this um, structure of this um, flagella and cilia. I have explained to you before it is going to have the nine peripheral uh, doublets, right? There is nine peripheral doublets and one 
singlet at the center. This is nothing but the microtubular structure. So it is made up of the tubulin protein, microtubular structure. So the thing is flagella and cilia is going to have this type of microtubular arrangement. That is, we call it as nine plus two arrangement. Okay. Mm, so flagella is going to have this. And also the spindle fibers. Yes, spindle fibers are made up of the tubulin protein one, which is nothing but the microtubule. So it is also there. And centrosome. Yes, centrosome, you know, it is a non-membrane bound organelle where these two centrio are going to be present at the right angle to each other. Okay. So this is said to be the centrosome. The centrosome. Here it is go, uh, the centrioles. Centrosome have the two perp uh, the perpendicular arranged centrioles, and the centrioles is involved in the formation of the spindle fibers. So these are going to made up of this again uh, microtubules only. So the correct option here is option B, which is nothing but centrosome, spindle fibers, flagella, and cilia. All these have the tubulin proteins. And proceeding to question, uh, question number 41, which of the following is a polymer of nucleotide? So you know what is a nucleotide. Nucleotide. nucleotide is made up of a nucleoside plus phosphate group. Okay, what is this nucleoside is made up of? Nucleoside is made up of a nitrogenous base and the sugar. Okay, and depending upon whether it is a DNA, if it is a DNA, it is going to be deoxyribose sugar. If it is a RNA, it is going to be ribose sugar. So the question is, which of the following? So nucleo, which is a polymer. So mm, you know the nucleotide polymer of nucleotide is nothing but what? It is a nucleic acid, right? So it should be either a DNA or RNA. So the correct option here is option C, that is DNA. The spindle fibers are made up of the spindle fibers. You know, just now I have explained you the spindle fibers are made up of nothing but what? It is going to be made up of that tubulin protein like this. It is the mm, tubulin protein. So, so the tubulin is nothing but the protein, right? So the correct option here should be it is not a cellulose, lipids, or pectin. It, the correct option is going to be the protein, tubulin protein. Question number 43, the ribosomal RNA is actively synthesized in, so RRNA is synthesized in where? It is the direct uh, easiest question, the RRNA is synthesized in the nucleolus part, okay? This is a nucleus, nucleus, you are going to have a dense uh, nucleolus present over here. So the nucleolus is going to be involved in the synthesis of this. RRNA. Okay, this is the correct option is the nucleolus, dear students. And next question, question number 44, the synaptonemal complex is for during. So, uh, I have explained to you about the synapses, right? Synapses occur during the zygotin stage. And what is this synaptonemal complex? The synapses is nothing but what, uh, see here, Mm, so you have this chromosome and this uh, uh, chromosome, homologous chromosome are going to align together pair. This is called as the synapses. And these synapses is going to be uh, made stronger, stable by the presence of these synaptonemal pro uh, protein complex. Okay, this is the protein complex. So this also occurs during the zygotin stage. So the correct option here is, dear students, it is going to be the mm, uh, zygotin stage is the correct answer for this question. Uh, so question number uh, 45 again, I think so we have seen this question already, which does not facilitate the motility. We know it is the pili mm, and uh, fimbri. So the correct option is option A and C because they help in the attachment only. Okay. So which is a polymer for the sixth question. So, you know, sucrose. Sucrose is a disaccharide. Fructose is a monosaccharide and lactose is a disaccharide. So they are asking about the polymer. Polymer has a repeating units more than Hmm, uh, two monosaccharides are going to link together. Okay, three, three or four, they are going to form thousands of uh, these monosaccharide units are going to link together. Repeated units, it is called as a polymer. Here, the polymer is a glycogen which is made up of repeating units of uh, glucose attached to form a polysaccharide. Uh, so, this is nothing but the polymer. So, that is the glycogen is the correct answer. So question number 47, which of the following is wrongly matched here? Um, so which of the following, the fungi cell wall is made up of chitinase, which is correct, the plasma membrane is nothing but the phospholipid. The lipid is going to be uh, present as a C where the proteins are going to be floating as I spec. This was the model given by the Sinker and the Nicholson, right? Fluid mosaic model. So this is also a correct, the bacteria, lipopolysaccharide, endodermis, is 
so the incorrect is going to be the bacteria and the polysaccharide and the bacteria cell wall is going to be made up of this murine that is the peptidoglycan and not the lipopolysaccharide so the incorrect option here is going to be the option c uh, because it has the uh, peptidoglycan so next question number 48 the protoplast is a cell so a protoplast usually normally a cell is going to have a cell wall right so this is the cell wall so the protoplast we are going to digest the cell wall um, and the product that is obtained after digesting cell wall without the cell wall we are going to have a cell this is called as a protoplast okay we use this in ptc okay during somatic hybridization so we are going to digest the cell wall if it is going to be made up of a plant cell if it is a plant cell okay it is made up of cellulose we use the cellulase to digest the cell wall we obtain a protoplast okay so the correct option here is without a cell wall a cell without a cell wall is said to be the protoplast mm, which of the following statement is correct about the competitive inhibitors okay so the inhibitors you know there are two different type of inhibitor competitive so competitive the inhibitor does not resemble the uh, substrate so uh, this statement is not correct dear students okay uh, this is because the in case of a competitive inhibitor the inhibitor resembles the substrate if it, the substrate is going to be like this this uh, uh, the inhibitor is going to be like this only okay because it is a competitive inhibition both the substrate and the inhibitor is going to be compete with the enzyme for binding in its active site okay mm, so this is incorrect option the inhibitor competes with the substrate for its allosteric steric site this is a wrong thing because an enzyme has a two different site one is the active site and another one is the allosteric steric site okay so active site is the place where the substrate and the inhibitor going to bind here it is given as allosteric steric site so this is the mm, wrong option the inhibition of succinic acid uh, succinic uh, yeah here mm. Melanoid, which closely resembles the substrate and succinic acid in the structure is an example of it this here student this is also a incorrect statement because it is succinic acid dehydrogenase it is not a hydrogenase enzyme okay this is incorrect mm, and the, this mechanism used to control the bacterial pathogens yes okay so this is the correct statement here the first three statement is incorrect complete the following equation nucleic acid nucleases if it is treated is going to be treated with the enzyme nucleases we get the nucleotides and again this nucleotide is going to break down and form the nucleosides okay so because uh, mm, so the nucleotide unit is a nucleoside these are the carbohydrate units right mm, this is a lipid unit so here the polymer of mm, uh, uh, nucleic acid is made up of nucleotides and for the nucleotide if they are going to lack the phosphate group it is made up of nucleoside the correct option is option d the nuclear membrane disappears so you know hmm, uh, during the prophase the major organelle are going to disappear right it's going to disappear the nuclear membrane disappear too but uh, particularly at what phase during the end of the prophase during the end of the prophase this nuclear membrane is going to disintegrate it is going to disappear like this and the metaphase the direct all the nuclear material should be embedded in the cytoplasm so the correct option is late prophase the class of enzyme that catalyzes the reaction so i have already explained i think so this was the first question in this question paper what we have discussed right it belong to the transferases i will just explain it is the transfer of a particular group between the two substrate okay uh, it might not be a electron it might you know it might be a h okay or oxygen it comes into the transferases if it is a electron it goes to the oxidative reductases right so the correct option here is option b transferases Question number fifty-three: The central part of the proximal region of the centrioles is a proteinaceous. Uh, is proteinaceous and is called as A. Yes. Here, dear students, they are asking about the centriole. The centriole has the triplet peripheral microtubule. So, in micro flagella and uh, this thing, we have seen about the uh, doublet, right? So, here it is a triplet. so three uh, nine peripheral triplet is going to be present like this okay so nine triplet is going to be present and here you have nothing we we call this middle portion as it is going to be proteinaceous we call this portion as hub proteinaceous hub 
so nine triplet plus zero arrangement that is the centriola uh, transverse section uh, it is different from the uh, flagella in two way one thing it is going to have the triplets whereas there in flagella it is doublet here the central portion is hub whereas in flagella it is going to be called as axoni and this in the central portion they have the two singlet there okay one singlet there but here there is no uh, microtubule present here so the correct option dear students it is going to be um, it is uh, which is connected with the tubules by the peripheral triplets so if it is it is going to be the radial spoke okay the b is going to be radial spoke a b radial spoke the correct answer is option c the axonym is found in uh, just now we have explained you axonym is the um, central part of this flagella it is a cutaneous central part it is called as axonym it is present in both cilia and uh, axonym is found in flagella so the correct option is both option a and b statement 1 competitive inhibitor is also called as a substrate analog yes because it is going to be just resembling the inhibitor is going to just resembling the substrate right yes so second statement it resembles the enzyme in structure you should remember one thing it is not the enzyme dear students it is going to resemble the substrate okay so the statement 1 is correct and the statement 2 is incorrect so for 55 question the option b is correct 56 analyze the event occurring during the every stage of cell cycle and the how main how the amount of dna content per cell changes and select the correct option so here dna content becomes double during the s phase yes if it if it is a g1 phase okay in g2 phase it is going to dna is going to be duplicated and like this it is going to be maintained in gen g1 also so this is correct yes it is dna content is reduced to half during the anaphase yes because in anaphase the centromere is going to divide right the centromere is going to divide and we are going to get the chromatid like this right so what is the thing the dna content is going to get divided it's going to reduce right so this is also a correct option the dna contents remain same during the meiosis no it is reduced to half it is a incorrect statement so the correct option must be the option a and b okay the essential chemical compound of many coenzyme is nothing but it is a vitamin it is a direct in crt because you know about this coenzymes right you know niacin uh, nad yeah so the correct option is option c vitamins biological organization starts with so you know a cell inside the cell it is to have a subcellular organelles in the sub in the inside these uh, cell it is uh, the particular biological organization starts with the sub microscopic uh, molecular uh, biomolecular structures like carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acid so every biological organization starts with sub microscopic molecular level that is the correct answer inside the cell we are going to have the sub microscopic molecular um, combinations so question number 15 side of Uh, i clearly told you a cell is going to have a crisscross uh, skeleton like structure it's going to pass through it's help, going to help in maintaining the shape of the cell and it's also going to help in um, motility too it is nothing but the tubulin filament and actin filament so this uh, is made up of nothing but the protein structures so they are mean the microtubules and microfilaments so the correct option should be the proteinaceous filament option c is the correct one so 60th question Analy analyze the diagram given below and select the correct option regarding the part labeled as T. So what it is given here? So the 50 is subunit and 30 is subunit. You are going to unit together to form the C subunit. So this is a monomer, dear students. So this is the monomeric unit. This is also a monomeric unit. Normally the ribosomes are going to be present in the monomer form only in the cell. So when only the protein synthesis is there when the translation is there these are going to unite together to form a dimer okay in the presence of mg2 plus right yes so they are going to form the dimer
here uh, what would be the correct option here okay uh, we'll see what is the correct option here is um so 70 years eukaryotic translation ah here well, you one thing you should understand because this is the 50 years and 30 years it is going to be 70 years it is not a eukaryote it's a prokaryote 70 is not found this seems to be correct we'll see 80 is a unit no 80 is so the correct option is it is a prokaryotic translation it is very well uh, known because it is 70 years subunit so it uh, dimer is formed during the translation so the correct option is option b so 61 crossing over occurs between crossing over occurs between the homologous chromosome so the thing is the paternal chromosome and maternal chromosome are going to get paired during the synopsis so these are called as no, homologous chromosome. The homologous chromosome are going to be similar in structure, function, size, shape, etc. Okay. So these chromosome and also this non-sister chromatids are going to exchange their genetic elements. So non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosome are involved in the crossing over. Okay. So the correct option is option B. So the curve given below shows the enzymatic activity with relation to three conditions: pH, temperature, and substrate concentration. What does these two axes represent? So x-axis enzymatic activity no. Y-axis pH no. X-axis temperature. And y-axis is enzyme activity. Yes, because this is the temperature, right? Here the enzyme activity. Okay. So here, if you are going to keep on increasing the temperature, okay, what is going to happen? See, at the lower temperature, slowly the enzyme activity is increasing like this. So that a particular optimum temperature, optimum temperature, the reaction is going to be, the enzymatic activity is going to be maximum, right? It is going to be maximum. And then once the temperature is going to be further on increasing, the enzyme are nothing but the proteins, right? They are going to denature and slowly the activity is going to drop down. The enzymatic activity is going to drop down, right? because of denaturation. So this particular graph shows about the temperature effect on the enzymatic activity. The correct option is option B. The next question, question number 63. The phase in which both the chromosome and the DNA content has become half. So here you should, um, I think this uh, it should not be the both, okay? It should be doubled. Uh, actually, it, there should be a correction in this question, okay? The correction, the correct uh, correction as such, this question can, uh, cannot be taken out as a correct one. The phase in which both the chromosome and DNA content, DNA content is half, you know, okay? Uh, DNA content is going to be, um, oh, yeah, yeah, correct. This question is correct. Uh, dear students, let me explain this question once again, okay? Uh, let me explain this. See here, they are asking the phase in which the, both the chromosome and the DNA content becomes half. Yes, this is the correct question. Mm, where, you know, in case of this um, anaphase 1, okay, in case of anaphase, um, yeah, anaphase 1, okay, what happens? The particular question, the same thing is going to happen. Anaphase 1, the the homologous chromosome is going to get separated, right? The homologous chromosome is going to get separated and the DNA content is also becoming half because you see here 2C, 2C. Here it is 4C, here it is 4C. Totally 8C DNA is going to be present in a cell and the chromosome is 2N. Here what happens? The chromosome, because the homologous chromosome is going to get separated, totally in one single cell you are going to get the 4C and the chromosome is going to get reduced. So the particular anaphase one is the exact phase where these both the incidents are going to happen. So the correct option is yes. The question is a very tricky and exact, a very nice question. The correct answer is option C. So you should be very careful in answering these type of question. You should read it once or twice. Question number sixty-four in my Mitochondria, the cytochrome oxidase enzyme is present in. You know, I told about this my electron transport chain in this cytochrome oxidase refers to cytochrome A and A3, right? In the complex 4. So this is going to be present in the inner mitochondrial membrane. 
which organelle is involved in the modification and routing of newly synthesized proteins to their destination so you know this translation process is going to occur in the cytoplasm so before that in the nucleus uh, what is going to happen nucleus the, uh, the mrna is going to be synthesized via the nuclear pore this mrna is released into the um, cytoplasm in the cytoplasm you have this immediately the rough, rough endoplasmic reticulum this mrna will attach to this particular ribosomes right present on the rer so on their trans, uh, tr uh, translation into protein will occur here so the question is what they are asking where this particular newly synthesized protein is going to be modified to their destination so immediately once the protein are synthesized okay there will be the golgi apparatus present here right golgi apparatus present over here this proteins will enter uh, uh, with the vesicle it's going to enter here here it is going to get modified with a certain glycosylase glycosylation process where it is going to be bubbled out at the um, trans phase so uh, so this packaging and the um, routing of this particular protein to a particular destination occurs only the in the particular um, thing that is golgi apparatus okay secretion of proteins at g1 stage which phenomenon takes place G1 stage where the most of the organelle is going to uh, duplicate and also this RNA synthesis is going to occur here. Here it occurs in S phase. So the correct option is option B. The reason for the exist of nerve cell from the cell cycle once after the forming is. So the nerve cell already I have explained you these are going to be present in the G0 phase because they are going to get differentiated. Differentiated cells normally present in the genome phase and another one more reason why this nerve cell exit from the cell cycle it is not exit it is going to be suspended from the cell cycle is because it is going to lack the synthesis no okay that is the very important reason you can this so the correct option is option c so question number 68 i think so already we have explained the same question yes we'll skip this question enzymes with slightly different in the molecular structure but can be performed the identical activity so with the little molecular changes in the enzyme we call these enzymes are isoenzymes whole enzyme you know it is a whole enzyme it is a protein part of the enzyme so these are nothing but the um, organic part of the enzyme right so here the enzymes with a slight modification in the molecular structure is nothing but and performing the same function as the isoenzymes question number 70 which of the following structure is is not common to the mitotic cells of higher plants yes here the question you should be careful here they are meaning the higher plants in higher plants it is an astral mitosis because they are going to the simple there is no going to be the astral formation right it is not going to be present central is not going to be present in the mm, plant cells right it is going to be present only in the animal cells so now what happens uh, uh, which is not uh, so the central is uh, not uh, present so the correct option is xanostral mitosis so the correct option is option b proceeding to the next question 71 to Study any kind of genetic abnormality arising due to the changes in the chromosome number. The karyotype is preparing, is prepared. Which of the following stages is the most suitable to develop a karyotype? Yes. So in this, dear students, you know, in metaphase, the condensation is going to be maximum. You can uh, go for morphological study, okay? Uh, only during the metaphase because in this stage only the chromosome is going to be appearing shorter and thicker okay so we can clearly visualize so morphological analysis everything will be done only during the metaphase whereas if they ask the shape of the chromosome you go for anaphase but here we are asking about the karyotype karyotyping deals with morphological analysis so the correct option is should be option a metaphase name of sliden the names of Schleiden and Schellen are associated with, you know, it is the Sill theory. Um, in the year 1838, it was uh, um, both of them, 1838 and 39, both of them, it was the Sill theory, which states that uh, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of living organisms. 
So cyanofacient granules and glycogen granules are examples of. Okay, these cyanofacient granules you can see this in a non-membrane uh, inclusion bodies and present in the cyanobacteria. Okay, so these type these are nothing but the inclusion bodies is going to be present in certain bacteria. So the correct option is option B. So next question: How many bacteria are produced? In four hours, if a bacterium divides one in half an hour, they are asking that. Uh, see here, you, know, you should be very careful. See, in half an hour, it is going to divide. Then for one hour, it is going to divide twice, right? They are asking for four hours. How many you know, cells are going to be produced? Four hours. It is going to be eight times they are going to divide. So the correct formula is two to the power n. So two to the power eight. The correct option is going to be option D, two fifty six. Okay. So understand first for four hours it is going to divide eight times. How many times? N number of times. So two to the power n, which is a formula. So two to the power eight, it is going to be mm, two fifty six bacterial cells are produced in four hours. Okay. How many back? Uh, next question. Select the incorrect statement. Lipids are insoluble in water. That is a correct statement. Lipids are. Mm, not soluble in water. Okay, lipids are they are hydrophobic. Okay, so uh, glycerol is a trihydroxy propenes. This is also correct. You know CH two OH, CH OH, CH two OH. You know this is glycerol, right? So it is a trihydroxy propene. So it is a correct one. Lecithin is a glycoprotein. So the uh, incorrect option is here. Lecithin is a Phospholipid, you know, it is a phosphatidyl proline. So it is a phospholipid. You have seen the cell membrane structures have this list of things. So it is a phospholipid. The incorrect statement. It's not a glycoprotein. So the correct answer for this question is option. Sorry, it is going to be option C. Lecithin is a glycoprotein. Question number seventy-six. The X-shaped structure formed during the Largest stage of meiosis one are called. So, I just want to explain you here when the crossing over occurs. Okay, it will be like this one. So, these are nothing but what X-shaped structures. Okay, X-shaped structures where this is nothing but the point of attachment is called as chiasmata. It is called as chiasmata. Okay, so they are asking about only this particular point. So the correct option is option B. Identify the parts labeled in A and A to E in the given figure. C. A is doublet, peripheral doublet. So all are correct. B is the inter doublet bridge. These two are correct. Okay. C is going to be the central microtubule. Okay, C is central microtubule. So this is correct. This is wrong. And D is radial spike. It is uh, correct here. Correct. E is going to be the central sheet. This one. E is central sheet. So the correct option is. It is going to be option C. Okay. So this is a NCERT picture. It is a picture of this flagella and cilia. I think so many times I have explained about this. Next question: Water constitutes dash percent of total cell mass. I think so. I explained the similar type of question. Said the water is going to be present in almost seventy to ninety percent in cell, immediately followed by the protein, with almost nearly fifty percent. So the correct answer is going to be option D, ninety percent. In mitosis, the centromere split and the chromatid. Separate. So here, the chromosome is going to be like this. In this, the um, at, at the anaphase of the mitosis, the centromere is going to split, and the chromatid is going to be separate, and you get a end product like this. Okay. So it occurs during the anaphase. So the correct option is option B. So the different cells have different sizes. Arrange the following cells in the ascending order of the size. And select the correct option. So they are asking us to arrange from small size to big size. Here, first we will arrange bacteria three to five micrometer. Here, mycoplasma is point three. Ostrich is the largest. 
human 7 micrometer so from the small to big means first one will come next to four will come and next is the human rbc and next is the ostrichic so the correct option is option a you are going to arrange it from the big to small so next question which of the following is correct about the metaphase one so they are asking about the metaphase one dear students bivalents are arranged at the equator yes it is also correct because metaphase one where the bivalent chromosome is present that is a homologous chromosome we call this as the bivalent or tetrad right univalent chromosome it is the incorrect option because two chromosomes will be there non homologous chromosome form pairs it is not non homologous wrong spindle fibers are there it is also wrong so the correct thing is at chromomere they have given mm. so the correct option is option a bivalent so we call this structure as the bivalent structure so So proceeding to the next question, chromosome separation during the mitosis, disjunction is Sabrina in NK Kranga. So disjunction is chromosome separation during the mitosis, chromosome separation during the prophase one, incorrect, because disjunction and disjunction is the segregation of alleles. So chromosome separation with the anaphase is the correct answer, it is not metaphase. So, what is distinction? It is the segregation of alleles. So the correct option is chromosome separation in anaphase 1. Select the incorrect statement with respect to the centrioles. They have the cart cartwheel like arrangement. Yes, correct. They are made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of tubulin. Yes, they have not mentioned about the triplet, but it is yes, it is a correct statement. The central is a non proteinaceous part. Yes, here comes the problem. It is not a non proteinaceous, it is a proteinaceous part. They form the basal body of Sri and Pajara. Uh, so, the incorrect option here is dear students, option C. So, the correct is option C. The intermeotic interface is called intrameotic. So, the intrameotic interface is called. So, I have clearly explained you. So if this is the interface, this is mitosis one and this is mitosis two. Okay, in between in between mitosis one and mitosis two, they are exhibit a stage called as a interkinesis. So interkinesis phase. It is a interval between the M one and M two. Okay, so this is called as interkinesis. Here the um, uh, some of the proteins might be synthesized in this phase. So the correct option here is interkinesis. So in case of next question, in case of a glycogen, in case of a glycogen, right end of the polysaccharide chain. So you see, you know, glycogen is a branched polymer, okay? It is a highly branched polymer. What they are asking is, uh, the, this is the left end, this is non-reducing end, whereas this end, right end is going to be the reducing end, okay? So they are asking, the right end of the polysaccharide is going to be the reducing end. So the correct option is going to be option C. It is the reducing end. The question is in human beings, which of the membrane of heterocyte? So this is a direct NCRT DA student. RBC has 52% of protein and 40% of lipid, right? Um, so you would have seen this picture also in NCRT about the plasma membrane structure. The membrane structure was studied using the RBC. So the correct option is option C. And some of the enzymes, uh, some of the enzymes associated with the digestion of proteins, lipids and nucleic acid are associated with liposomes, microsomes, glyoxosomes. These are all microbodies where the correct option is going to be the lysosome you know i told about this lysosome these are called as a suicidal bag of the cell because they are going to have a lot of hydrolytic enzymes having the acidic ph like proteases lipases and nucleases they are going to 
cleave these particular proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. So the correct option is option A, lysosomes. Okay, dear students, today we had a very useful discussion of the particular topic that is uh, cell cell cycle and biomolecules. So Spiro Academy is doing a very great help to all the students present all over India so that they can be greatly benefited by seeing this question paper discussion. So please students subscribe the Spiro Academy channel and if you want the PDF of this question paper, you can just click the link even below in the description. So please subscribe this channel and thank you so much for giving us such a wonderful session of question paper discussion. I'm Dr. Ratishri, the senior botany faculty, Spiro Academy, Spiro Group of Educations, Chennai and Namahal. Thank you.